On the affirmative. Who's the one in? As the first affirmative is Amy Shady. Amy graduated from Grapevine High School in 2010 and is currently a debater at the University of North Texas. Amy's a real scientist. She's a biology major uh, and she talks about really weird things that are not fascinating to me, but Amy thinks is really cool. Uh, this past year in debate, uh, she coached at Grapevine High School and during her first year in college debate, she was the National Junior Division Debate Tournament Champion and she was a quarter finalist at the CETA uh, debate tournament, which is the cross-examination national debate tournament that happens at the end of the year. The second affirmative in tonight's debate is Christopher Thomas. Also known as CT debated in eastern Kansas, never go there. Uh, the whole state's bad. Uh, it's not really real, they don't have a professional sports team. But anyway, uh, he debated at Blue Valley Northwest High School in Kansas City. He attended and debated for the University of Kansas for three years, from 2005 to 2008. And from 2009 to 2011, he debated and coached at the University of Texas San Antonio. Chris had three showings at the CETA tournament, making it to the triples in 2008, doubles in 2010, and octofinals in 2009. He qualified for the national debate tournament twice, 2008, 2009, and 2009, 2010. Give it up for Chris. Oh. All right, with great honor, but I can introduce the team challenging uh, the affirmative, which is the negative team. The first negative speaker is RJ Giglio. Yeah! RJ was born in the swamps outside of Shreveport, Louisiana. He attended Cato Magnet High School where he excelled in weightlifting, football, and eating. He holds a school record for cows eight and bench press for the same day, seven. <laughs> he managed to find some time to try out. Uh, he managed to find some time to try out debating. Shockingly, he did well. I mean, most people who want to debate need to be able to read, but not RJ. <laughs> RJ's first three years of high school debate uh, were about beating the competition. Literally, he fought people. Ten guys and three girls. He won all of those fights. As a senior, RJ put down the boxing gloves and just started debating. He was, the, he was at the top of his game and the top of the high school circuit. He was the second speaker at the Green Hill Tournament, St. Mark's, Emory, Grapevine, Texas, and Berkeley. And he was undefeated in the prelims of Green Hill, Texas, and the Glenbrooks. The TOC, that's a different beast entirely. Uh, so I don't want to tell you RJ's record there. <laughs> However, RJ rebounded and decided to uh, debate in college. He left the swamp behind for the dust and destitute of Oklahoma. Seriously, one bad state for another, I don't understand it. RJ debates currently for the University of Oklahoma and has cleared the NDT for four years, reaching the octofinals as a sophomore, the quarterfinals as a senior, and won CETA, and won CETA Nationals twice. He has been invited to three round robins and won the Kentucky tournaments. He has reached the octofinals and better at every major national tournament and college debate. RJ, everyone. RJ is debating with Andy Casey. Yeah. Andy has the, the unique and fortunate job to work with me. I'm awesome, so Andy gets a little bit of that awesomeness. Andy has 12 years of debate experience from his time in Oklahoma high schools, the University of Central Oklahoma, and now as a coach at UNT. I was going to make another joke about Oklahoma, but just look at these two dudes. One bald man and an oiled up bodybuilder. That's Oklahoma. <laughs> he has degrees in political science, Native American studies, and he's hoping for a degree in something useful from the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Andy is often mistaken for Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vin Diesel. Seriously, I've seen it happen. Andy's a Leo. He enjoys the boringness of Oklahoma and has a three-year-old son, Keegan, that is funnier and better looking than he is. <laughs> Andy was a successful college debater, but records, records that old are only on display with the Dead Seed Scrolls, so I have no idea how well it did. He's a card-carrying member of the MGM Mirage Players Club and visits the Riverwind, Cas Riverwind Casino quite frequently. He loses all the time. He lo they love him there. Everyone, Andy Casey.
Ready to get the show on. <laughs>